Yo, what is up, everybody? My name is JMac Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of this WWE 2005 TEW Save. We're at the Royal Rumble. We're gonna jump right into it with the pre-show bout. Uh, it was a 20-man battle royal for the pre-show. Just wanted to throw everyone on the card. Uh, didn't really pick a winner. Didn't care. It's whatever. And a pre-show bout that hits up our wrestling. And Little Heat, William Regal, won a battle royal. The final four were Orlando Jordan, Billy Kidman, and Eugene with Orlando Jordan being the last elimination. But he had the most eliminations over the course. So that's good. But also, looking down at the bottom, Orlando Jordan, fractured wrist, Stephen Richards, broken ribs. Oh, boy. Let's see if anyone uh, hurt anyone in this. Okay, Michael Hayes telling me Jordan's hurt. And Stephen Richards is hurt. So I don't think anyone botched a move or anything. But regardless, not a good start to the Royal Rumble. Two injuries for this match. Let's get into the opening match. And about that had good wrestling and a decent reaction from the crowd. The Dudley Boys become the new um, a new tag champion. New tag champions. When Rey Mysterio was eliminated, and then Devon, so it was down to Bubba Ray and Rob Van Dam, Bubba Bubba bombing, uh, RVD throwing through the table. Uh, Devon took a stunt bump through the table and got a foot blister. Uh, the only reason why I took the belts off RVD and Rey Mysterio was because RVD's already had some drug problems, some uh, wrestling high on painkillers, so I needed to get the belts off of them. The plan was to keep those the belts on RVD and Rey Mysterio for a long time. Uh, just wasn't going to happen with RVD. So, uh, yeah, exactly. This is why uh, the, the plan is to suspend him right after this and try to get him to rehab to help fix RVD. And Devon Hart's three injuries in two matches. We get the celebration right afterwards. We move on to the next match and about that at Subpar Wrestling and Little Heat Paul London uh, defends his number uh, defends his cruiserweight championship when he pins Jim Yang in seven forty nine with a shooting star press. Um, a decent little match Paul London not performing Yang, but as to expect it, and then he celebrates. As well. You'll see a lot of these uh, post match celebrations. It's just what I do in Raw uh, pay per views in TEW. In the next match, a bout that had a decent wrestling and not much heat, the Raw tag team titles are on the line. Christian and Tomko trying to get the belts off La Resistance, but they are unsuccessful as La Resistance pins Christian and Tomko in 8.17 when Grenier pins Tomko with an au revoir. La Resistance makes this defense number one. Uh, these guys, 58s. Great chemistry working together. Tomko 36, Christian 70. It is what it is after that. Uh, but, um, Garnier and Conway. I like these guys. They're going to keep the belts for hopefully a long time. Uh, they celebrate after the match. Rob Conway, gotta, gotta write that down. He is not suited to his gimmick. We move on to the SmackDown United States Championship match. And about that, a good wrestling, a decent reaction from the crowd. John Cena defeats Booker T and retains his title. In 1430, after the FU, he makes this defense number one. Uh, not to quality lifting the match. Crowd got hotter. Booker T outperforming Cena. So it may have been Booker T being a little hurt after his match with JBL on Friday Night SmackDown that led to Cena getting the win. We'll, we, we will see on the next episode of Friday Night SmackDown. Cena celebrates in the ring, gets a 79, so a decent little rating for Cena. We move on to the one-on-one -on -one Raw Women's Championship match right after. In a decent match, Trish Stratus pins and Lita in 9.35 with a chick kick. These two just going all out, outperforming everyone so far. 76, good for them. They have great chemistry and it showed in their performance. Though they only got 70 and 65, a 76 overall rating in the match. Trish Stratus will sell 83, Jesus, mm, mm, jeez. Good for Trish Stratus. Gets an 83. Move, move on to the Raw Intercontinental Championship match. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> and a decent match. Chris Jericho pins Shelton Benjamin, who got into this match by beating uh, Maven two times. And a best of two series. 
Uh, he Jericho wins in 10:39 with the walls of Jericho. By gosh, Jericho 84, Benjamin 82, but it's still an 82 rating. And then afterwards, Jericho celebrates in the ring. What a match, Jericho! Doing your thing, getting uh, carrying Benjamin to a great match. And the next match, we have the Raw World Heavyweight Championship match. I didn't know whether to put this one on after the SmackDown or before, but right now I'm going to have it before. Uh, Triple H pins Randy Orton in 22-12 with the spinning spine buster. Doesn't even use the pedigree. Orton is not good enough for the pedigree. Um, Ric Flair doing some good work at ringside. Triple H, 86. Orton, 68. Or oh, that's a disappointing 68, man. Triple H will celebrate after the ring. After after the ring. After the match. We move on to the co-main event. And about that had great wrestling and good heat. John Bradshaw Layfield pins JBL. Or J- <laughs> he pins Gerd Angle with the clothesline from hell. So everyone retaining their titles other than, uh, other than Ray and Rob Van Dam here at the Royal Rumble. Uh, he makes this defense number one. Uh, 80s and 76, 82 rating. Celebrate. I'm going to get celebrate in the ring. Gets an 83. I'm going to keep it right here. And we're going to go over the Royal Rumble. Entrance by entrance. I don't want to spoil anything. We start off with number one. We all knew it. It was Eddie Guerrero. He comes out to the ring. Out next is number two from Monday Night Raw. Here comes Chris Benoit. I wanted to start this match off with two guys that could go toe-to-toe with each other. Great technical wrestlers. And Eddie Guerrero and Chris Benoit, two of the best. So they go at it. They're wrestling. The next entrance comes out. And number three is Raw's Maven. Maven comes out. And <laughs> Eddie and Eddie and Benoit stop wrestling. They look at each other. They look at Maven. And uh, they both do a suplex to Maven, poor Maven. And then Eddie takes takes care of the trash, throws out Maven. So we already got a number. We already got an uh, elimination. Uh, the counter, the count, uh, the fucking counter, the clockwork, clockwork. God, I am just. The clock starts running down. Out comes at number four, SmackDown Spike Dudley. And again, he runs in. Eddie gets a suplex. Benoit suplexes him, and then Benoit eliminates Spike Dudley. So these these two are working together. Again, they go at it. Clock runs down. Out comes at number five. Friday Night Smackdown's Hardcore Holly. <laughs> Again, suplex. Suplex, they look at each other. And they both eliminate poor Hardcore Holly. Both of them now have two eliminations. And we are down to number six. Five, four, three, two, one. Here comes Monday Night Raw's Edge. Edge, a main eventer in this uh, save right now, I guess push wise, he comes on, and this is this is no pushover. This is not Spike Dudley. This is Edge. He takes it to Eddie. He takes it to Benoit. They're going at it, and number seven comes out. His name, Christian from Monday Night Raw. They come out, and Edge and Christian they look at each other. Or. Yeah, so you look at each other as number eight comes out, and it's Rhino. So all three of these men are in the ring. Edge, Christian, and Rhino, Benoit, and Greenard are already, like, in the corners. They're hurt from Edge and Christian laying them out. And they look at each other. These three men were all tag team. Like, they were, they were a good stablemate. But now Christian with Tomko, Edge doing his own thing, Rhino doing his own thing. They all look at each other. And they're like, let's do this, boys. And then Rhino goes over to grab Benoit. Edge and Christian, they look at each other. They grab Rhino, and they clothesline, double clothesline. They, they're working together. They get, they get Rhino up, and they eliminate him. Right as the clock, after Rhino gets eliminated, the clock comes down, and it's Bubba Ray Dudley. Bubba comes out. He rushes to the ring. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Ed and Christian working together. Benoit and Guerrero are still out. Out oh, comes number 10, Devon Dudley. So now it's the Dudleys and Edge and Christian. They're in the ring. They're going at it. And Edge and Christian, they take out the Dudley boys. But then Christian turns on Edge, 
spin heads around and eliminates Christian. Christian looking pleased with himself, yelling at Edge, who's outside the ring, and the Dudleys double clothesline him out of the ring. So there goes Edge and Christian. Rhino's also eliminated. Hardcore Holly is eliminated. Spike is eliminated. Maven. So we're through 10 guys. The only four guys in the ring are Devon, Bubba Ray, Benoit, and Guerrero. Out comes number 11, the United States champion, John Cena. And he goes right after Bubba. He goes right after Devon, Berg, Eddie Guerrero, and Benoit are finally getting to their senses. Cena takes him out. He's on a rampage. And out comes number 12. Kane. And Kane gets in the ring. And he takes out Bubba. And then he takes out Devon. But as he's doing that, out comes number 13, Muhammad Hassan. Muhammad Hassan goes right after. Right after Kane. I don't know why Muhammad Hassan would do that. He's not a big man. Kane is a huge, the big red monster, Kane. Hassan is going after Kane. Cena's going with uh, fighting with Benoit and Guerrero. Out comes number 14, Booker T. Booker T goes straight after John Cena. As he should. Booker T leading, laying out uh, Booker. Uh, fucking Booker going after Cena. Kane with Hassan. Guerrero and Benoit are back to fighting each other. And out comes number 15. We're 15 guys through. Out comes Davari. And Davari comes out. He jumps on the back of Kane. He's trying to choke him out. He just can't do it. Kane choke slams Davari. Choke slams Hassan. And Cena Booker. Or no, Cena, not Cena. And Eddie and Benoit take him out. Booker T and uh Cena are taken out. And out comes number sixteen, Scott Steiner. The local talent I signed for this, the legend. In the Rumble, Scott Steiner, originally in this place, was supposed to be Macho Man Randy Savage, but I guess, you know, Macho Man, he just has a strong dislike for Vince McMahon. Whoops. So Macho, he wouldn't sign. Uh, I tried offering a spot to Rock and Stone Cold to be in the spot. Neither one signed uh, with us um, before the Rumble, so I just took out their, their contracts. I don't want them. Um... Piper thought he was too popular for a single a single deal. And so did Vader. Vader thought he was more popular or too popular for a single night deal, though he is less popular in the game than Scott Steiner. Then um Yeah, so Scott Steiner was the man. Scott Steiner comes out and he eliminates Davari instantly. I thought he does his uh, Scott he does his uh, Steiner driver, does all his does, he gets all his shit in and um, eliminates Davari. And Steiner's, he's he's celebrating. He's doing the, like, he's just flexing. And then uh, Hassan comes up behind him and eliminates um, eliminates Scott Steiner. And the crowd is just booing Muhammad Hassan. He has got some nuclear heat. He just eliminated the man. Big Papa Pump Scott Steiner. So back, Cena now has Booker T. And he uh, FCU's Booker T one more time, gives him the five knuckle shuffle. As this happening, uh, former SmackDown champion Rey Mysterio is coming out to the ring. As that's running, as he's running down, Cena eliminates Mah or not Muhammad Hassan. He eliminates Booker T. So right now we have Benoit, Guerrero, or Benoit, Eddie, Cena, Kane, Hassan, and now Rey Mysterio. They're all going at it. Out comes number 18, Shelton Benjamin. Um, Benjamin comes out. He just took a, a terrible loss. Not I wouldn't say terrible, but a heartbreaking loss to Chris Jericho. He fought so hard to get into that match. He goes uh, right after Rey Mysterio. And then out comes at number 19, SmackDown's Mark Jindrak. Who instantly runs in, punches Kane, who is not looking at him. He turns around, grabs Jindrak, choke slams him. And then choke slams him again outside the ring. So it chokes him from, from in in the ring to the outside. So there goes Mark Jindrak. Cena and Benoit are going at it. And uh, Benoit eliminates John Cena. The crown giving him a little boo there. Cena's the boy here in the uh, Southwest Arena. Oh, I guess we're having a generic 
venue tonight. Uh, so Cena's now out. And then out comes number 20, Raw's Ric Flair. He comes out. Uh, Muhammad Hassan is now running wild in the ring as he's now, he just eliminated Rey Mysterio right there. And then eliminates Shelton Benjamin. So Hassan, three eliminations so far. As Ric Flair is chopping Kane, Ric Flair gives him that little knee, uh, chops, up, chops the knee, takes out the knee. And Ric Flair, he's looking like he's going to give him a figure four. Kane kips up, choke slams Ric Flair. And as he's not looking, Muhammad Hassan eliminates Kane. So Muhammad Hassan, his fourth elimination, again, getting some boo. Ric Flair, as this is happening, number 21, SmackDown's Rene Dupree comes out. But Ric Flair, he's upset with this. He's not okay with the man, with Hassan taking away his, uh, his moment. So Ric Flair eliminates Muhammad Hassan. Gives him some chomps, figure four, picks him up, eliminates him. And at this point, Ric Flair is already, uh, he's already cut himself. He's already bleeding everywhere, as Ric Flair would. So Rene Dupree's in there. Out comes number 22, Savon Grenier, the Raw Tag Team Champion. He comes out. Uh, who's in the ring at this moment? Eddie Benoit. Uh, Kane and Hassan are gone. Uh, Eddie Benoit, Ric Flair. And Rene Dupree. So, D D Grenier, Dupree, Ric Flair, Eddie, and Benoit. Uh, out comes Jericho at number 23 for Monday Night Raw. Benoit looking a little tired out there. Guerrero's gas. Guerrero's going at it. He hasn't really he hasn't really done much since eliminating Maven, Spike, and uh, Hardcore Holly. But he's going at it. Benoit as well. Uh, out comes at number 24. Was already pissed off that he lost already tonight. Randy Orton. Orton comes out and he's just not having it with anyone. Goes straight after Dupree. RKO. Grande. RKO. Ric Flair. RKO. Guerrero. RKO. Benoit. RKO. He is not having it. He sets up Rene Dupree. Another RKO. And then eliminates Rene Dupree as number 25. Rob Van Dam comes out. Grenier takes another uh, RKO, gets tossed out. As number 25, RVD's getting his stuff in. Out comes number 26, The Big Show. Big Show looking. He's got a lot of momentum. As he's uh, beating up Mark Gingerak and Charlie Haas over the last two weeks. So he's, he's riding in a lot of momentum. Comes in and punches Orton right in the face. Just... Uh, one of those KO punches. And gives gives him the hog lock. <laughs> uh, Shawn Michaels is out at number 27. The Heartbreak Kid comes out. Super kicks the Big Show. But Big Show, not having any of it, bounces off the rope and punches Shawn Michaels right in the face. Orton's back up. And he RKO's RVD one more time. And eliminates RVD. As number 28 is entering the ring, the lights... Shut off. And he's already in the ring. As the come back gun, it's The Undertaker. He's back. This is his first appearance in the save. He's back. And he's uh, looking to win this Royal Rumble and challenge for the world title, as everyone here is. As Taker enters the ring, here is who is left in this match. Eddie Guerrero. Chris Benoit. Ric Flair. Chris Jericho. Randy Orton. The Big Show. And Shawn Michaels. Two guys are left to enter the ring. Number 29 comes out. No elimination still. These guys are still going at it. Number 29, Batista. The man, the myth, the legend, Batista, comes out. He hasn't really done much in this save so far, but Batista, he, he vowed on Monday Night Raw. He vowed to win this Rumble. He vowed to get that belt off Triple H. No, he didn't. What am I talking about? <laughs> He's part of the evolution. Batista. Sorry, I was thinking about real life. What happened? Regardless, Batista's out. And then out comes number 30. The loser of the last match that happened 
the rumble right before it. The man who got the most time to recover, Kurt Angle's out. So now we have all 30 men in the in, in the rumble. They've all come out in the ring. Still is Eddie Benoit, Ric Flair, Chris Jericho, Randy Orton, Big Show, Shawn Michaels, The Undertaker, Batista, and Kurt Angle. Angle closed right after uh, Raw superstar Chris Benoit. Goes after Eddie. Goes after Jericho. Goes after Shawn Michaels. Um, what is that? What is this move called? The Olympic Slam. Slams them all. Eliminates Benoit. So Benoit's gone. Ric Flair. Who's just now a... His face looks as red as his trunks that he wears. Orton has him. RKO's. Ric Flair tosses his dead carcass out of the ring. Ric Flair is just not a man anymore. He's just a bloody red pulp. Uh, Batista, having none of it, goes straight, straight after Orton. Puts him in the corner, gives him some um, some clotheslines. As this is happening, Chris Jericho was just eliminated by Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero's back into it. Batista now has Batista bombed Randy Orton and then tossed him out of the ring. So, yeah, we're down to our final five after that one. After Orton was eliminated, we're down to our final five. Shawn Michaels, Kurt Angle, our final six. Sorry, boys, final six. I fucking forgot the winner. Uh, uh, we got the big show, Kurt Angle, Shawn Michaels, uh, Eddie Guerrero, Undertaker and Batista are left in the ring. Um, Kurt Angle is now fighting Shawn Michaels. The Big Show and The Undertaker are going at it. Batista and Eddie are going at it. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, Kurt Angle gets the best of Shawn Michaels. So you think. No, it's a double elimination. Shawn Michaels and Kurt Angle both eliminate each other. After going at it for about, I'd say, four minutes, they went at it. We're down to our final four. Taker has Eddie Guerrero in a choke slam. Batista's knocked down. Big Show's getting back up. Taker looks like he's about to choke slam Eddie Guerrero. But Big Show knocks out Undertaker. Yeah. And Taker's done. There's no kip up. Taker looks legit shoot knocked down. Show just. Dumps his body and starts yelling at the Undertaker. Says he's done. He's the Big Show, and this is his yard now. As that's as he's yelling, Eddie Guerrero turns around and does the WrestleMania 30 gimmick with Cesaro. Uppercut, uppercut, bounce back, picks him up and suplexes the Big Show out of the ring. And Eddie, at this point. He just used all the last energy he had in his body. As he's been in there for around 56 minutes. And he just collapses as Batista gets up. And he looks like an animal who's ready to strike. Batista bombs Eddie Guerrero. Picks him up and just tosses him out of the ring. And the 2005 Royal Rumble winner is Batista. The other members of the Final Four were Eddie, Big Show, Taker, Eddie being the final elimination. Or I had to put Orton as the most eliminations, but he had four. Hassan also had four. Eddie Guerrero set the record for surviving the longest. Eddie Guerrero was the Royal Wumba... Uh, not Eddie Guerrero. Batista is the Royal Wumba winner. Uh, felt bad now that uh, Devon Dudley was in this match after being hurt in the opener. I'm laughing. I'm. I feel bad. Everyone else perform. A lot of people um, improving. Booker T uh, performing a lot. Also, Savan Grigny and Spike Dudley performing, improving. So that's good to see. But Batista wins the Royal Rumble. Will he go after JBL, or will he go after the Evolution leader Triple H? And after the match, Batista. Oh, great, Rob Van Dam. Good for you. Um. Oh, Eddie's celebrating the ring. Whoops. Put the wrong guy to celebrate. Regardless. End the show. 82. Um, let's make a speech to Batista. Will he go after... <laughs> I can't believe I put Eddie. 
Batista, praised for a great performance. Uh, Chris Jericho, where are you, buddy? And Scott Steiner, good for you, buddy. Or actually, Muhammad Hassan actually really improved. Um, so will Triple H or will Batista go after his Evolution leader Triple H, or will he defer to SmackDown and go after JBL? Where does this leave Eddie Guerrero? He he almost went the distance. He went 56 minutes in the ring and just could not could not seal the deal. What does this mean for The Undertaker after being really just... Is he, is he going to be okay? Is Big Show going to be reprimanded for knocking someone out? Who knows? What will happen? We will go over all these answers or questions... On episode 12 and 13, the first Raw and SmackDown after the Royal Rumble. This was my favorite show to do yet on any series, just because this is the first Royal Rumble I've ever booked out from uh, entry 1 to 30. And who got eliminated and who did what. First time I've ever done that in TW history, so it's whatever. Um, leave a like on this video. Uh, leave a dislike on this video if you just didn't like it. Not gonna hurt my feelings. Leave a comment. Tell me what you felt about this. How you uh, feel about this show? Um, any ideas on me going forward with the shows or with Raw or SmackDown? Any like uh, feuds, storylines you guys want me to think about doing? Leave them in the comments. If you're new to this channel and you're just catching up on this video, um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't not yet. And I will see you for episode 12 of the series where we now are on the way to No Way Out, SmackDown's first uh, exclusive pay-per-view. And we're only two months away from WrestleMania. What a show that'll be. See you.